Hello, I'm Mike Valadeo. Let's talk taps. Passive fiber taps are a highly reliable means to access the traffic flowing across a network. They require no power supplies of their own, and they tend to be preferred over span ports because they're invisible to the network. They don't impact the processing capability of other devices, and they provide consistent copies of all the packets seen. But how does a tap actually work? In this segment, I want to explain some of the technology behind passive fiber taps. Fiber optic technology between two network devices is really very simple. A switch or router transmit a light signal through a glass cable, and a second device receives the signal at the other end. But how do you know what information is flowing through the cable for troubleshooting, compliance, or security needs? This is where we tap the line. The word TAP is always capitalized because it's an acronym that stands for Test Access Point. The TAP is your first step to visibility. This is what a TAP looks like. This is actually a dual TAP with two TAPs in a single housing. Instead of two routers or switches connected directly to each other, the TAP sits in between them with a connection to both devices. A pair of ports is married together internally, so the traffic continues to flow between the two switches or routers connected to the first two ports. The transmit traffic coming from each device is then copied to the two ports on the right for monitoring or security analysis. Inside the TAP, there's a splitter that takes a copy of all the traffic coming from each switch to send to the monitoring ports. But how does the splitter work? If I project a laser pointer at the board, I can transmit a signal to be received at the other end. If I put a clear sheet of glass somewhere in the middle, you'll notice that the light continues to pass through the glass to the board. However, a portion of the light is reflected back from the surface of the glass, allowing us to see an exact copy of the traffic as it passes through. Another method to extract a portion of the light would be to fuse or melt a secondary fiber to your main cable then a portion of the light goes through to each cable. One cable continues on to the network, and the other is directed to a monitoring port. We have just explained the two most common network splitter technologies. In the industry, the first is called thin film technology, and the second is called fused by conical tapper. Both methods extract a portion of the light to send to a monitoring port. As a best practice scenario, Many networks are deploying a tap-all strategy to get the traffic from anywhere in the network. To meet this need, Gigamon provides a broad portfolio of both standalone and internal taps. These work for not only traditional fiber infrastructures, but also for copper and even specific taps for Cisco 40 gig bi diode deployments. Remember, proper tap placement is a critical component of the overall visibility infrastructure because this is where the packet is exposed.